Hello guys and welcome. In today's video I want to talk about Elden Ring. Now it was always very surprising to me how can one game be so innovative but also so outdated at the same time. In my opinion Elden Ring could be two three times bigger game if it just had some more system that will give more life to the game. For example social elements, multiplayer elements, open world elements. In my opinion, Elden Ring is one of those games that just have insane potential, just like Monster Hunter or Final Fantasy franchise. But we, because we are still being healed back by old mentality, the game doesn't really feel alive and it doesn't really have a long lifespan. You know what is so amazing about Elden Ring? Is how can one game be so innovative but also so outdated at the same time? And we really have to give Miyazaki some credit here. You know, he almost invented a new genre of games where y you're not actually fighting with the game, but with the outdated game design. Truly innovative. You know, they really know how to make great games, but they don't know how to make complete games. You know, people always say that, you know, Soul Games and Elden Ring has this special feel like, you know, this is what makes them special. But in reality here we are just fighting with this outdated Japanese gaming design really. Where they think that social elements, multiplayer elements and competition is a bad thing. That's why we barely have any social features in Elden Ring or in Final Fantasy or in Monster Hunter. That's why we have no re leaderboard or rewards or faction in Elden Ring. Right, barely any PvP content, pair to pair connection, can't use horse in co-op, right, things like that. And in my opinion, Elden Ring is such a great game and it really sucks watching so much potential being simply wasted. And there are some quite a few simple things they could do to make Elden Ring more popular. For example, they could add larvar tears as a reward in PvP. You know, larvar tears allow you to reset the character stats. Uh, you know, the whole game was designed around theory crafting and character building. But because we have limited amount of larvar tears, it is actually quite hard to uh, try all these different fun spells and builds we find in the open world. And you know what really sucks about Elden Ring? Even though it's a, such a great game, it just feels like the game doesn't really feel alive. You know, it's or sometimes it almost feels like it's a dead game because. We have no social elements, we have no leaderboards, no rewards, no community uh, systems, um, no guilds, right? There are so many things they could add into this game that would make it so much better and people would play it so much more. You know, the game already has one of the best PvE and open world elements, right? But we don't really have any good PvP uh, content in this game and no social interaction, right? Imagine how fun this game could be if you had like proximity wash chat in Invasion, if you had leaderboards and rewards, something every competitive player wishes to have, right? There is so many things they could add. In my opinion, you know, people say that this is what defines Elden and, and Ring and these other Soul games. But in my personal opinion, we are actually just fighting with outdated game design here, you know, because a lot of this, you know, Japanese gaming studios, they have one of the best franchises on their hands. They're supposed to make dream game for us, for, for their fans. But we are still being healed back by old mentality. We still think that competition, multiplayer and social elements are a bad thing. That's why in Final Fantasy, even though we call it a social game, we don't have basic social features like chat bubbles or voice chat. That's why when you play Monster Hunter, when you return back to the city, the city is empty. There is no players running around, just NPCs standing there. The game doesn't really feel alive, right? And it's the same thing in Elden Ring. When, we, when you are waiting for invasions or for arenas, you are just waiting at the dead space, nothing happening. You know, they could easily make like a cool zone where players will gather and there will be like a rank leaderboard everybody could check. There could be a faction NPC you could check. 
uh, defection and rewards for it, right? There's so many things they could do. There could be whole guilds, you know, and every time a guild set up a new record or a fastest boss kill, there will be a huge server announcer. And this will make the game feel so much more alive. In my opinion, if you love gaming and if you are working at any MOBA or MMORPG studio, you should really watch animation called The King's Avatar Animation. This is probably one of the best gaming animation out there and you can really learn how to actually make a complete game, right? Right, you have no social interaction, no leaderboards, no rewards, nothing, right? Man, the, the, so much wasted potential. How can one game be so innovative but so outdated at the same time is beyond me, man. You know, they really know how to make great games, but they don't know how to make complete games. And you know, people always say Elden Ring is such an innovative game and... Mm, no, uh, they always say, yeah, but this is what... Um, this is what soul games are always all always about right no this is just we in in reality we are here we are just fighting with this 20 year old outdated japanese gaming design really where they still think that competition is a bad thing they still think that social features are not needed in a game final fantasy they call it a social game, yet we don't have basic social features like chat bubbles or voice chat that games have 20 years ago had, right? Elden Ring, the same story, outdated action combat, no social features, no competitive multiplayer elements, we have no leaderboards, no rewards for playing the game, for playing PvP, uh, where we are waiting for arena or Invasions, we are literally waiting at this dead dead zone, dead space, where zero players are running around, zero, zero NPCs. Same story in Monster Hunter, when you return back to the city, the city is empty, there is no players running around, just NPCs standing there. And then they wonder why their games are not doing, you know, why are their games not alive more than a few years. You know, because they lack so many important elements. No multiplayer elements, no social elements, the game, the game doesn't feel alive. Outdated action combat, they think that competition is a bad thing. That's one of the biggest problems with Japanese gaming studios. They think that competition and multiplayer is a bad thing. And we have seen that in almost any game now. That's why Final Fantasy has no social interaction. That's why Monster Hunter doesn't feel alive. You can't even tame monsters, that's why Elden Ring has no social features, no leaderboard, no rewards, no guilds, nothing. Not even a, you know, a multiplayer hub or anything like that. Like, in my, in my opinion, this is not really a good experience. Right, just waiting in these dead zones, uh, you alone. Why not have a multiplayer hub where multiple people could gather up and you could actually pick a faction and rewards and you could have a leaderboard and every time you win in invasion or in uh, arena you could get like a larvar tier as a reward right this is the things that i think Elden ring is so desperately missing and yeah we need few more levels so we can actually uh, equip better pants you know even though i have great jar arsenal and in air, air tree favor which both give you equipment load i still don't have enough to equip a good set, but I'm almost there, you know. We just need a few more points, and our HP is almost look at our HP almost 60 now, right? A few points into our cannon would be also good, so we get more loot, you know. But we are like max intelligence and almost max, you know. We have some, some in strength, dexterity, so we can equip some weapons. Now I'm trying to level up HP, might, endurance. It's like two more levels into endurance and we should be good. And maybe then more HP, maybe more might, more mana. You need a lot of stats, you know. I'm still not sure if I should buy the new expansion, you know. Like... You know why? Because they don't... The Miyazaki don't cater to the community enough. Like... We don't have basic rank leaderboards, we don't have any rewards for any, any, any actual rewards for doing PvP, we have no factions. In my opinion, this game could get so much more replayability and life, life spam 
if we would just have some a few more features like larva and tears as a reward for pvp like a leaderboard everybody could check up so to see who's the best in arena in invasions that would be so huge and then you reward top 10 players top 20 players with maybe a cool cosmetic cool rewards this is the problem with it it's uh, in my opinion Elden ring is such a great game but it's just missing something more to help to give a few more years to give more life to the game more community driven you know this is what i think Elden ring is missing Elden ring can still stay primary a single player game that's totally okay but why not give basic multiplayer features basic social features it's something that people have been craving right in my opinion Elden ring is such a great game it could be three times bigger game with some of these features i mentioned maybe guilds fighting for bosses then every time a guild clear fastest boss kill or first boss kill there should be a huge server announcer that would be so cool like in the king's avatar animation you know so let's see we need to do this we need to kind of it's kind of letting me to change um, stuff you cannot uh, um, cast in incantations with staff kind of sucks Okay, we should be good now. It just kinda sucks that I have to wait in this dead zone. Like, I would rather, you know, there should be like a multiplayer space. Outdated uh, keyboard scheme, where it's almost impossible to even use spells normally. Every game in existence here, you know, this you can use like, one, two, three, four, you can you put spells, you know on the keybinds but no in Elden Ring you only have one keybind and then you have to manually scroll from you know one spell to another it's such an outdated game design in my opinion Elden Ring would be two three times bigger game if it only be managed properly and this is one of the biggest problem with especially with these Japanese gaming studios they know how to make good games but they have no idea how to make complete games they have one of the best franchise on their hands Final Fantasy Monster Hunter, Elden Ring, Soul Series, but they are doing nothing with it because they don't know how to make complete games, right? And that's one of the biggest problems with their games, that's the reason why their games usually don't last more than a few years, even though they put so much effort into their games, because they don't know how to make complete games. Their games lack so many important social elements, multiplayer elements, open world elements, in my opinion. Uh, if you really care about gaming, if you really, if you're working in any MMORPG or MOBA gaming studio, you should really watch animation called The King's Avatar Animation, which is one of the best gaming animation out there, and you can really learn how to make a complete game with social features, with you know chat bubbles. You know why are we still calling um, Final Fantasy a social game where we don't even have basic social features? We don't have any uh, chat bubbles. We have no. Um, voice chat nothing right that's why a lot of these games haven't seen innovation in 20 years these guys these guys are supposed to make dream game for us this is what we fans deserve if we were waiting for 10 20 years for these japanese gaming studios to make us a, you know a good final fantasy game a good uh, monster hunter game where you could you know city full of people taming monster uh, social interaction in final fantasy chat bubbles the game has nothing, right? They don't really. This, these guys don't really care about us anymore. Apparently, and it's really sad. Like, and Elden Ring is a typical example. We talk about so many things: pair-to-pair -pair connection, uh, out, outdated uh, keybinds, outdated uh, spell system, outdated this, outdated that. No re leaderboard, no rewards, no guilds, nothing, right? And did they address any of those issues? No, of course they didn't. They just want us to spend 50, 50, 50 60 more bucks bucks on this expansion because they know americans are gonna pay for it because they are born consumers this is what they live for you know they have no standards no gaming experience really and this is what we get you know it's like <laughs> it's kind of fun you know you get a lot of comments here on facebook <laughs> made in list post more endurance so we can actually survive a few hits you know it kind of sucks I don't have enough uh, potions in Invasion, like it really does. We really need more mind or something, because we, I'm, uh, I immediately run out of mana, you know? <laughs> but hey. 
Maybe once we got enough endurance, we can remove Grey Jari, you know, and... But who knows? And... And we have just enough faith, so we can actually cast the Black Flame Protection and Golden Vow, which gives you a lot of protection and bonus damage, which is really good for invasions, you know? But did you see guy, that guy? He, he just like tanked through my attacks. Maybe he had endurance, you know? I need more cool spells, you know? Like, this game is really fun. It's just the, just the lack of social interaction and the rewards, right? And there is not a good magic system in this game, in my opinion. Like, I just want to have my abilities, like, just gives us the option to put our abilities on keybinds. Like, first spell, you know, one, two, three, four, five. So I can press those abilities, not, not that I have to scroll through each ability at once. It kind of sucks. It really does. You know, this is how soul games are always designed, but let's admit it sometimes. It's just outdated game design. Like, games Battlefield Heroes 20 years ago, 15 years ago had this. Like, why can't we have this today? It's just gonna be... It's just gonna be better for PC players, and most, a lot of your player base is PC players. Why are we ignoring PC players? Why are we designing whole game and UI for console players? I don't understand. Don't they have PCs in Japan? Japan, Japanese, like, I don't know. 15 years ago had this. Like, why can't we have this today? It's just gonna be... It's just gonna be better for PC players, and most a lot of your player base is PC players. Why are we ignoring PC players? Why are we designing whole game and UI for console players? I don't understand. Don't they have PCs in Japan? Japan, Japanese, like, I don't know. And people hate you when you talk the truth, you know. I know I don't want to be too intrusive, you know. Intru you know I don't want to change how everything is, but somebody has to talk about this, you know. Stop justifying outdated game design. Stop justifying these big uh, capitalism companies that they're just around with their self with yes, yes, sirs, you know. In, in reality, a lot of these capitalism companies and this is slowly destroying everything we are passionate about. Games, esports, sports, content creation, social media, everything is being destroyed by capitalism and AI, right? I mean, I can show you right now, like, you guys think I'm full of it. Okay, let's go Palworld. Let's go Palworld. You know, let's, let's check Palworld, you see. Let's check this guy. Let's check, you know, some popular video, 3 million views in 4 months. Let's see what's so, what's so special about this video. Let's see what's so special about this video. Let's open some of these comments with thousands of thousands of upvotes. And let's see what's going on. Only a few year old account, you see. Okay, I guess I'm wrong for this video, I guess this is just good content. You see only few year old account. Only one year old account. One year old account, you see? This is how you get popular on YouTube. It's not about having a good opinion, it's not about having good content. It's just about how many people you can manipulate, how many, how much algorithm you can manipulate. If we, if we put two guys together that make identical content and one uses both like a promotional accounts to manipulate viewers and algorithm and other doesn't, the first guy gets three times more viewers. You see, simply outdated uh, YouTube algorithm, really. But they didn't take into consideration AI and promotional accounts. They should make it so that only one PC can only have one account. Or maybe that the algorithm only count one account, you know. You cannot use, uh, you know, multiple of them to promote your own videos and such. It's not even bots. People think that bots are something special. No, everybody can make promotional accounts. 
You see, I can just go to any account I have. I usually just use one or two, so you know I can heart it and get more seal score. That's it. But there are guys like Mr. Beast who have 90% of their comments are fucking bots. 90%. They made like 20,000 comments with their bots. So they manipulate the algorithm and viewers. And then because of them, we small content creators, we barely get any views. And that's a fact. Anybody that has been on YouTube for more than, you know, three, four, five years knows that at this point. I know, I know what really pisses me off, that we small gamers, we, who actually are passionate about things, we who actually criticize, we just get ignored. But then those big YouTubers, content creators, who use counters of manipulative bots, promotional accounts, like, you know, uh, Kai Senator how we, or Dr. Disrespect, right? These guys get thousands of views and they don't even criticize the game, they do nothing, you know, their content is not even that amazing, but because they use manipulative bots, right? And this is what we get. These guys don't even need to innovate anymore because they can use just, you know, they can use uh, promotional accounts, they can use bots all over social media to manipulate their viewers and algorithm, you know. It's disappointing, it really is, like... <sighs> and... You see, <laughs> what is really ironic is that a lot of the Japan Japanese gaming studios, you know, they make these outdated games, they think that competition is a bad thing, and then on the other side you have these American consumers who are born consumers. They don't even have standards, nobody has standards, they don't... They don't respect themselves, they don't respect their product anymore. You know, people always say Miyazaki is such a hero for making Elden Ring. Like, how can how is he a hero? His games are totally outdated on almost every corner. No social features, no outdated action combat, pair-to-pair -pair connection. Like anybody else who would make that such game today wouldn't get much players. You know, and we have guys like Palward who used AI to make their assets, they used AI like a promotional accounts, like a bot all over social media to manipulate countless of people just like YouTubers do on a daily basis. You could literally go, if you can literally go to most Palworth videos on YouTube and 50 to 70 percent of the comments under those videos are m manipulative bot promotional accounts. You can just check the creation date of these accounts and check it out for yourself, it's a fact. What the you know, people always say that Elden Ring and Soul games have, you know, some some special that makes them special. But in my opinion, in reality, we are here just fighting with outdated Japanese gaming design and with the um, manipulation of social media with AI and bots. Really, these days you don't even need to make good game. You can just use bots and promotional accounts to manipulate people. That's what. YouTube is all about these days. It's not about genuine smart content creators. No, no, no. It's about how many people you can manipulate, how how much product you can promote, right? 